Hi again. Um, I wanted to shoot, um, I think this is going to be a series of videos, um, just so that I can keep them short because I tend to have longer videos and I'm trying to do my best to get them shorter for you, um, of our present, our Christmas presents haul this year. So I think I'm going to do a video per child. Um, and this is just kind of an introduction to, uh, our philosophy behind gifts at Christmas and what we're trying to accomplish with them. Um, we don't tend to give our kids gifts other than at birthdays and Christmas time. Um, we don't just get them things out of the blue throughout the year, which is, I think, good, but it can also kind of be bad because um, since we don't get them gifts throughout the year, I think I tend to go a little overboard on gift giving at those times of years. And it's not what I want for them because I don't want them to think that that's all that a birthday or Christmas is about. I don't want them to think that it's all about getting these gifts. And while we verbally talk about it and talk about, especially Christmas time, that the reason for this season is Christ's birth and then it's really his birthday that we're celebrating and we're just very blessed to be able to get to receive gifts on his birthday um, and that we're trying to put the focus on serving others and showing love to others. Um, we can say that all we want, but if we continue to give a ton of gifts to them, our actions aren't really matching up what our words are trying to tell them. So, like, it's really been on me this year specifically since my daughter, my oldest daughter, just turned six. And I don't, I feel like if I, we don't change the habits now, it's almost going to be, like, too late. She'll start to get disappointed in future years of Christmas and not getting as much stuff or something I'm, that might not happen, but I just, I feel like it could, and I really don't want it to be that. I kind of want this less giving of gifts to be the norm, and that's just what it is, and the focus to be more on family and spending time together, creating memories together, doing fun things together, serving other people. So I've been trying, even though it's really hard because it's such a busy time of year, to, that we were putting the focus on that. So um, just before Thanksgiving, we went and helped at a local, um, kind of like a food bank type thing. It's called fill belly and you bring some food and you get to share it with the homeless community and serve them and just uh, be a part of that. So we did that for our first time, which was really great. And I would love to do it again before Christmas. I just don't know if we're going to get to it. And we're trying to find other ways to serve people, serve the community around us and really have that be more of our focus as well as spending time together as a family. So I am trying not to give too many gifts to the kids, but one of the hard parts about that too is that I tend to buy gifts throughout the year and then kind of store them up and save them for birthday and Christmas. And so I have this stockpile of gifts, which is awesome that I can just pull from it um, to, you know, bring out and give to them. So I'm not kind of running around like a chicken with their head cut off um, around the holidays so much because I already have majority of their gifts. Um, stockpiled away so it's good for that but then at the same time it's bad because sometimes I forget how much stuff I've already gotten for them and if it's like an age-appropriate gift you want to give it to them at the right age and not be like oh we should hold off on these gifts because they already have too many but then it won't even be age-appropriate for them at that time because they're they've outgrown it or whatever so it's kind of, I'm trying to learn the balance between that and it's, this is definitely going to be a learning period for me. So, um, I feel like I'm rambling now. So what we're trying to do here is to have the focus be off of the gift so much, um, get the focus more on spending time together as a family, doing fun family activities. We've already gone on a long family rock, um, through, another neighborhood we've never been through before and just looked at their Christmas lights. We've watched a couple of Christmas family Christmas movies together. Um, we've done the tree and the decorating and, and different and made some sugar cookies. And we're going to be going to a hollow uh, Christmas cookie exchange party with family. Um, so we have some things lined up to really create some really good memories. And in homeschool, we're also trying to, you know, really focus on Jesus's birth and learning about that. And focusing on serving and loving others, though I really would like us to have more of a focus on serving, and that just might need to be something that comes with each year we kind of build on that, and I'm trying to give myself grace and know that it's going to be a process. It's not just all going to magically happen this year. So with that said, um, I'm going to show you the gifts that we're getting for our kids, 
some of them are going to be family related gifts so the kids just open them but they're actually for the whole family and I tend to do that with movies and games um, and so I was trying to get some focus on activities or games that we could do together as a family not so much having all these individual gifts that the kids open although we do like to give them stuff because again we don't do it throughout the year so this is kind of their time to get um, upgraded gifts if you will like as they get older they get more you know things that are more appropriate for the age that they're at at that time so with that said um, I think we're gonna dive into my six-year-old's um, box oh let me insert right here first um i'm gonna put a little clip in here to show you kind of how i store the gifts um this isn't how i do it all year long but when i pull them all out to kind of organize them and figure out who's getting what and how much you know everyone's getting from my little storage closet which is in my bathroom <laughs> um i put them each in their own little box and then um cover them up with a fitted sheet and it's just at the end of our bed and hopefully around this time I will have shown you that already um, and that's just kind of how I keep everything organized until I get things wrapped so I wanted to make sure to show that to you okay so now we're gonna dive into my six-year-old's box 